Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The only academy that gives you the credentials to become a certified tech and or certified inspector. So a lot of you are starting to dabble into solar and some of you haven't even looked at it yet and trying to figure out how it works. How do you take battery power and actually turn on your TV? Well, you have to have a device called an inverter. Now an inverter takes 12 volt power and invents 120 volt power. You got a stack of batteries that we're actually taking that 12 volt power and we're actually making 120 volts. Well, in order to do that, you have to have a device called an inverter. Now, what I have here in front of me is probably one of the top end ones out there. This is the Vitron uh, MultiPlus 3000. So it is an inverter, but it's also a combo unit, which means it's a converter as well. So a converter does the exact opposite. It takes 120 volts, steps it down to 12 volts to go ahead and recharge those batteries, right? Because batteries, all they are is a piggy bank. You know, we don't magically just have endless power. We have batteries. Those batteries only have so much power in there, stored energy. Well, what we're gonna do is, is if we're trying to live off grid for a little while, we wanna go ahead and watch our favorite poodle show on the TV, go ahead and charge our laptop, but well, we need to take that battery power, which is 12 volt, run it through an inverter, and invent the 120 volts. That way we can go ahead and watch that show. So you wanna try out one of these harvest hoats or one of these boondocking things, and so you go ahead and set up your rig, you know you got batteries, but have you ever noticed that your outlets don't work? You notice that your air conditioner doesn't work, and the only thing that does work are your lights and a couple other things, your fan, maybe your water pump, and you, would, and you wonder to yourself, gee, wouldn't it be great if I could watch TV? Wouldn't it be great if I could have an air conditioner at this free site I'm at? What do you need? Well, what we need to do is we need to take that 12 volt power and actually make 120 volts. Let me introduce you to the inverter. And that's what an inverter does. It actually invents the 120 volt power from 12 volts. If you wanna be able to fix 80% of the problems on your RV, check out our home study course at the nrvta.com website. If you'd like to earn an income and create a business while on the road, check out our website at nrvta.info, fill out the form and start your business today. You got it from there, all right. Ugh. Hmm. Bing, 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 bing. Photovoltaic. Photovoltaic. Todd knows photovoltaic. <laughs> That's right. All right, a lot of these are becoming an option. How many batteries do you need? And this video is just about this. Stop asking questions. Stop putting comments down here. Just, hey you, stop it. It's two minutes, right? You wanna learn more about this, come to class. Inverter. How do you spell it? Well, you gotta come to class. I'll spell it then. Yeah. Uh, okay. Or maybe just a couple of them work. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm just going to get a drink. All this talking. Okay. It's me parched. You go out, you go ahead and do one of these, um, what am I even thinking of? Stop over for the night and buy wine. Harvest host. Harvest host. Okay. Harvard. Harvard hosts. <laughs> <laughs> Cha-ching. <laughs> you graduated.